Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel SS Analysis. First of all, I would like to tell you that if you are watching this video first time, subscribe my channel to see my more upcoming videos on analysis of different commodities and equity indices. And second important thing is to watch this video till its end to understand this thoroughly to take your decision. Your one like will motivate me to be regular in working more hard for you. So let us start ready to analyze the movements of S&P 500 futures. So here you can see a daily chart of S&P 500 futures. Here I find that the S&P 500 futures have been maintaining an uptrend since March 23rd. Here I find that the S&P 500 futures have been constantly maintaining an uptrend since April 6, 2020. Here you can see that in a daily chart, S&P 500 futures have shown a good strength since May 14, 2020 from the levels of 2762, the S&P 500 futures started to move upward and faced stiff resistance at these two levels. First resistance was at the levels of 3182 and the second resistance was found at the levels of 3234 where the S&P 500 futures tried to break this immediate resistance but could not and finally started to move downward. Since June 10, 2020, the S&P 500 futures witnessed a steep fall which continued till June 11 and once again the S&P 500 futures moved downward after finding a strong support at the levels of 2936. On June 15, the Senate 500 futures started to move upward and found first resistance at the levels of 3080 but continued this uptrend where they witnessed first sell off on June 16th from the levels of 3168. Here I find that the levels of 3168 provides stiff resistance to Senate 500 futures in case of every upward move. Here you can see that the S&P 500 futures continued to face this level as a tough resistance and once again after coming down up to the levels of 3075, the S&P 500 futures found good support from these levels. On June 18, 2020, the S&P 500 futures tried to break this second resistance at the levels of 3182 but could not and found a steep downward move which continued up to the levels of 2984. So therefore I find that the levels of 2984 seems to be a strong support level for S&P 500 futures because here you can see that since June 29th S&P 500 futures trying to maintain this uptrend but have been constantly facing stiff resistance at the levels of 3157 and once again on July 3rd S&P 500 futures tried to move upward but found stiff resistance at the levels of 3141 and finally closed at the levels of 3115 after testing the highs of 3138. Therefore I find that the formation of this bear shimmer on July 3rd may result in a gap down opening in the S&P 500 futures on the first trading session of the upcoming week where the S&P 500 futures may test the lows of 3075 where they will form their immediate support but if they are not able to defend this immediate support we will see the S&P 500 futures to move back up to the levels of 3030 where they may found a reversal from these levels and we will see the S&P 500 futures to remain amid this zone. So this is my expected trading zone for the upcoming week. So friends here I find in case if the S&P 500 futures find a gap up opening above the levels of 3141 and I find that if the S&P 500 futures break this immediate resistance of 3141 we will see the S&P 500 futures to sustain amid this zone in zigzag manner but here I find that this zone from the levels of 3141 to 3157 looks to be a decisive zone for S&P 500 futures where a breakout will define the final move here I find that a breakout above the levels of 3157 will result in an upward move which may push the S&P 500 futures to test the levels of 3232 on the upper side but in case 
The Ascent Finder Futures find a gap down opening on the first trading session of the upcoming week. We will see the Ascent Finder Futures to remain under heavy bearish pressure, which may result in a downward move where the Ascent Finder Futures will find immediate uh, support at the levels of 3075 but if they are not able to defend this support we will see the ascent 500 futures to test the lows of 3030 so therefore i find that we are going to see a heavy volatile sessions during the upcoming week so thank you friends thanks for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to share this video with your more and more friends thank you